G'day folks, I'm having a look at the gameplay trailer for a new upcoming game called Sunken Land. It appears to be heavily themed off the movie Waterworld, and as such, it is a water-based survival game. You'll be able to explore sunken cities, do base building, crafting items, as well as friendly and hostile NPC settlements where you can either trade, fight pirates, fight warlords, or even mutants in this post-apocalyptic setting. When we watch the trailer we can see many things, we can basically see the previous world as it is buried under the water and once we pan over to the surface we can see some of the things that are sticking out that will obviously form some of the exploration or possible base building locations. The base building system is said to be a modular system where you can build at sea or at land as you so choose. There will be various defensive structures and traps so that you can actually defend yourself against pirates and other things that may attack you along the way. And while at this stage, at the moment there are only NPCs, enemies and co-op mode said to be in the game, the developer has actually said that they would like to expand into a PvP setting as well. We start seeing some of the survival elements of the game where you're scavenging metals and plants from underneath the water, harvesting trees on the overland. Obviously these would then go into your various builds and crafting that are available within the game. And with this there is the exploration side of things where there are obviously massive sunken cities to be explored, caves to be delved as well as on the overland find the various different pirates and warlords who may have caches of goods for you to discover. With the crafting and other survival elements, we can see from the trailer that there will be cooking, there will be fishing, and there will also be the option to grow your own crops. There appears to be many items that you can craft to decorate your bases, as well as many watercrafts such as jet skis and jet boats, and there's a small snip of something like a gyrocopter or a helicopter flying above, and if we can build such a thing then there may be other ways to travel the map. From here we start to see some of the combat and some of the combat items that we may be using. From here we've basically seen rifles, we've seen machine guns, we see a person holding a machete as well as ourselves using a spear as earlier in the gameplay footage you see the spear being used fighting underwater against a shark. The only other snippet of information about the weaponry is the Molotov cocktail that we see thrown. Other than that in some of the other gameplay footage of the combat we see ourselves fighting some of the mutants above ground which look to be either zombies or skeletons type things as well as when we're swimming under the water we see something which is akin to a dinosaur a plesiosaur or something similar and finally towards the end of the gameplay trailer we get to see some footage of what appears to be different clothing that the character models can wear so we'll obviously have a choice of different character models maybe we will actually have some sliders where we can fully customize our characters as well as there may be either clothing that you can craft or maybe there are skins that you can collect to gain various different looks. Overall, just based on the gameplay trailer, this is definitely a game that I am looking forward to giving a go. It is said to be coming into early access about quarter two, 2023, so not too far away. The only thing that I'm seeing an issue with at this point is probably the character models and potentially the ship models as they move throughout the world. The swimming and the walking on land appears to be a slightly different speed than the character model is moving and then when you see people attached to the actual vessels they don't actually move and they look quite stiff and wooden as they are actually thrown around on the waves. But at the end of the day, that is fairly minor. They are going into early access, so they obviously will have time to take feedback on such things and potentially fix them to add a little bit of polish before release. I'll let the trailer play out in full after we're finished here. Make sure you like the video if you're finding this a promising game. Comment if you don't like it, or potentially you have other games that you would recommend that I actually have a look at. Other than that, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will catch you in the next one.